to straighten this out without too much uh, of an issue so it's not really that big of a deal I am gonna contact Bolton though you never know I'll send them the pictures and maybe they'll send me a credit of some sort you can see how this works and really the reason why I bought this the coolant and shavings that get through the main filter will go down into this compartment but then it has this wall and so the coolant will have to go under this and then it comes up and over this dam here before it hits the screen to go back into the tank to be returned then once it's in the tank it has to go it fills in this main compartment here and then it has to fill up over this wall before it gets to the actual pump and then the pump is about one inch off the bottom of the tank so all of that is going to really help with keeping the pump free from debris hopefully now to help that along just a little bit more I took a piece of the 16th inch perforated stainless steel this is a piece that I had left over from the tray uh, in the cool in the uh, enclosure and I'm just going to drop that down in there and so now it has an even better uh, screen this one's about an eighth inch holes maybe three thirty seconds and then this will give it just a little bit finer screening there so hopefully that'll make a nice system so let's get this filled up uh, with some coolant and we'll get it turned on and see what kind of flow we have. Now there's a lot of controversy uh, it seems on coolant and which coolant is best and to be honest with you I don't really have a good opinion about which seems to be the best coolant because all I've ever really used is this cool mist now this is cool mist 77 and I actually got a gallon of this from Enco it was very inexpensive uh, I needed to get some whey oil and they happened to have this so I picked them both up I like cool mist because it's safe for the environment it's safe for you it's safe for the machine and it's safe for materials um, there have been some people that claim that this messes with the aluminum I haven't seen that yet but uh, I know Russ is trying out a different coolant he used to use this cool mist and now he's trying out something different so I'm gonna wait and see what he says about that and uh, maybe try something different once I run out of this gallon but this gallon will probably last me for a few years um, it only takes four ounces of this per gallon of water so as you can see I haven't really used that much yet Another thing when you're dealing with flood coolant is you want to use distilled water. You want to start out with a good base uh, for your mixture. Now luckily for, for me living in the south, uh, I run a portable air conditioner unit in the summertime and the condensate that it generates is basically distilled water. So I use that to top off and add to my flood coolant. So I've already put in a couple of gallons in the uh, flood coolant and it's ready to go the one inch pipe that I welded on the bottom of this doesn't fit the drain tubing that came with the coolant pump so when I went to my local Home Depot to try to find some tube it was so expensive that I just decided to pick up an adapter now this is for three quarter inch PVC and the diameter outside diameter of Three quarter inch PVC is around one inch and so I thought no problem it'll fit and if it's a little tight I can just turn the inside down a little bit on my lathe brought it back to the house and it was loose so that wasn't gonna work I could glue a piece of PVC pipe in there and then turn it down but luckily for me I just purchased a 3d printer and so eager to uh, use it I decided to just print an adapter 
and so this is the adapter that I printed out this is about the third thing that I've actually printed on the printer including you know samples and things like that turned out really well slides right on it's a nice snug fit on my pipe and the adapter fits right in on my tubing I think the 3d printer is going to come in really handy around uh, there's just a ton of things you can do with these things so good investment so we'll go ahead and put this on like so we can get it onto the bottom here slides right on so as I mentioned earlier I contacted Bolton Tools and I emailed a gentleman named Daniel I sent him pictures of the bent tray and he responded and offered to issue me a credit and I was very satisfied with the uh, customer service and the amount of the credit so I can't say enough about Bolton Tools they really good customer service so let's see how this uh, coolant pump operates so I'm going to put this tray in I'm going to eventually wrap all this tubing correctly. So I've got my tubing and all connected. I've got it, got it just sitting up here on the lathe. I'm going to run this tubing around the back uh, once I get it all situated. I don't even have anything wired up now. I'm still trying to get organized, but I wanted to get, just test this flood coolant out and see how it, how much pressure it's got. I did find out that the flow rate on this is 8.7 gallons a minute, which I thought was pretty good. Uh, bad lighting here, very sorry about that. It's got a pretty good bit of force. It's not no. It's, it's not a one horsepower uh, sump pump, but I think there's enough pressure here that it, to flush chips out of any uh, holes while I'm milling, and not so much that it's going to put coolant all over the place. So pretty happy with that. Pretty happy with the flow rate and the pressure that's behind it so uh, we'll just have to see once we start milling some parts out how well it actually works flooding and what kind of sit setup I'm gonna have you can see how it drains it's got the screen lifted up here but you can see it goes through the hole there down the drain And you can see it kind of fills up this one, fills up the one here, comes over the dam. And then into the screen. All right. Well, that wraps up this video. I've got I'm still trying to get organized, get the computer and all set up, but it looks like the Bolton Tools CS 3.4 is going to end up being a, a pretty reliable uh, coolant system. I think it far it's far better than the plastic tank type. I realize that the 3.4 gallons may be a little small. The small shop, I don't really want a lot of coolant just sitting around. Uh, sometimes it might be a week or two before I actually use it. If you're going to be doing a lot of machining, you might want to consider the Enco model with the 11 or 10 gallons. For if you want a smaller, compact, there's nothing else out there of this quality that I saw other than the Bolton tools. If you have any questions, suggestions, 
please feel free to comment. Thanks for watching the video. Thumbs up if you like the video. And most importantly, be safe.